Welcome back to the second video in the DiaGPT series where we kind of start uh, actually building stuff. And as I said, we'll be building it iteratively so that we will start with um, something easy and then we will introduce um, more functionality over time. But just to start, uh, if you haven't already uh, joined the Discord for Nanai, it's in the description and you can try out the app if you're interested in tracking and getting into this stuff. But, you know, as I said, we're going to start focusing on the diet GPT part of tracking your calories, macronutrients, micronutrients. Um, we're not going to go into micronutrients uh, in this video. That's in a future one. But in this one, we're going to try to build uh, using GPT to directly estimate the calories. So we're not going to be using a food database. Uh, we're going to simply have... Uh, in this case, I've taken about, I think it's like 80 plus images or so from a subreddit. And basically people have posted uh, images of their meals like this. Um, usually these are health conscious users. So, uh, but basically we will try to estimate how many calories is in this dish, which is, you know, quite difficult task, I would say. Like, obviously you have some idea, like if you see this one, yeah, it's going to be... Uh, Actually, this even this one was difficult. I think this is probably like olives or grapes. Anyways, cashew nuts. So maybe, I don't know, like I would estimate maybe like 300. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to be asking it to directly estimate it in this video. So let's jump into the code. All right, so to start with this, um, we're basically going to be creating our prompt and um, here, you know, it's important that we create something that is catering to that it's going to estimate calories and uh, it's going to um, output in a specific format. Now, uh, I'll show you how I did it here and discuss other options that you can do. So first, uh, let's just say you're an expert food anal analyst specialized in estimating the calories from images of meals. Task is to analyze a meal from an image and provide a pre precise estimate of its total caloric content. And then we can do, you know, this thing step by step so that it does like a careful analysis. So please follow these steps, carefully examine the image and identify all food items present. For each food item, determine the portion size, consider any hidden ingredient that might affect the calorie content, calculate the calorie content based on the portion size, sum up the calorie estimate, to arrive at a single total calorie count for the entire meal. Um, and then we just say, you know, always provide a single number estimate, uh, estimate, uh, prioritize accuracy over speed. <laughs> I don't think that's, uh, I don't think that's really needed. After analysis, provide a total calorie estimate. It is very important that you respond in this format. So calories in the number, uh, and then we just give some examples, right? So this um, is our is going to be our system prompt, and basically, right, um, we're we're asking it to think that step by step, and then finally give the response in a very specific format. Now you can do uh, you can use structured output, right, JSON mode, but actually, I found that it uh, did makes the performance quite a bit worse, and so I'm a bit hesitant. If I don't explicitly need to use a structured JSON output, then I, I'll, I'll avoid it uh, just because I'm scared of the performance degradation. But then, um, yeah, and also obviously we could uh, avoid the this, step-by-step this -step thinking, but that also, in my experience, leads to worse performance. All right, so let's now that we have the prompt, we're ready to start doing the code. This is not going to be anything, you know, very complex depending on your experience level. But if you use GPT-4 API before, this is going to be pretty straightforward. Um, but, you know, let's start with our imports. And so we have, um, basically, we're going to be using, uh, let's see. So we're going to be using some logging, regular expression to extract this specific format. Uh, we're going to be using asyncio for asynchronous requests so that we can make uh, go through our data set uh, faster uh, so that we don't have to wait you know one by one um, tenacity if we hate if we hit an api request limit then it'll do a exponential wait and then call again 
uh, and TQDM for progress. And of course, we'll import a system prompt uh, dot n for, for our uh, API keys. So let's create a class calorie estimator. Let's just set the system prompt, the API, the model. We'll be using ChatGPT 4.0 latest here. Uh, you could use GPT 4.0, um, you know, a specific one if you want it as well, but let's just use the latest. And uh, we're going to be using a, uh, uh, if we, for our local image path, we're going to be converting it to uh, uh, basically to a base64. Uh, that is what GPT-4 takes as input. So we'll just open that with image uh, pill and then convert it. Uh, and this is just taken from, you know, the API uh, docs of OpenAI, basically, of how to how to do the conversion. And then uh, we'll be doing a analyze image. We'll first create the image in base64. We'll set the system prompt. Um, we'll set the role of the user. We'll be asking, you know, what is the total calorie count for this meal? Remember to give your final answer in format of calories and the number. Uh, and then we'll input the WebP base64 image as well. And uh, I believe, you know, you can use other stuff here as well, like JPEG or and, and others, but WebP takes the less uh, size, the best sort of compression um, from my sort of testing. So, all right. So then we'll use, uh, you know, async requests and we'll just do the, re uh, the request with temperature 0, 0.0 for more, the sort of more, the highest precision um, and basically low creativity uh, in the response and then set max tokens to, uh, you know, we, I don't think we even need 4,000 here, but just something to give it able to, you know, respond without restricting it. And then we'll have a retry using tenacity, weight exponential, um, basically retry if we get some, some, um, you know, some rate limit, and then we'll create, you know, make, make API request. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think this is, uh, just copy paste it honestly from, uh, how to use it from the open AI docs, but we do a synchronous request here, uh, and we uh, set up a session with the API URL, the header that we defined earlier and the JSON as the payload. And then, uh, we have the response, we return it as a JSON and then we parse it. So basically we take the content, which is in this specific structure, uh, in this JSON that we get from OpenAI. And then, um, basically we check if we have a calorie match, did it actually extract it in the correct way? If we use regular expression, um, and this is just the regular expression for the exact format that we wanted, uh, uh that we gave in the, uh, system prompt essentially. And then we return the total calories. Um, and then we can put this all together, right? We have parsing the API, we have making the API request, and we have one that sort of analyzes the image from the image path. And then, uh, you know, we can call this and then we can return this in a JSON ourselves. Basically, this is the image that we were looking at. This was the actual calories from our data set uh, that I showed you. These are the estimated calories. This is the calorie difference. This was the LLM output if we want to debug and sort of check, right? And that's pretty much it for the process. And then now we can go through. So we open, um, it's in one folder up. So we open up that folder data set uh, we specify that we want to result in estimation results. Uh, we get our API key, uh, initialize the calorie estimator, and then also, uh, you know, load the, uh, labels as a data frame, set up the tasks, which is to go through every single one in the data frame, all the images, we get the results. And if we actually get something, we'll create a results directory. We'll save down the CSV, uh, the data frame, uh, as a data frame. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, like this is basically we're setting up to call GPT 4.0. We're asking it estimate the calories of this dish, uh, of this meal from the user input, and then we're saving it so that we can analyze it. So yeah, like hopefully this is, is uh, good to go. I realized I forgot to add a TQDM progress bar, which could be nice to see that things are working. So I basically asked 
Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, can you just modify when we gather the results so that we actually um, get a TQDM progress bar? And so let's add this. And hopefully now we will have a uh, progress bar to see that this is working. All right. So it went through all the different images. Uh, in this case, it was 84. Um, it seemed like there were a few. This the last two took a very long time compared to the first 82. Uh, perhaps it would have been you know, a better idea to lower the tokens a little bit. But anyways, now we got the estimation results right here. So basically, it's looking at here. We're going to do a better analysis. This is the next video that we're going to do. We're going to try to analyze this. Basically, it looks at some image here. Uh, it says, you know, total is 180. And the actual, I guess, is this one, 271. And then the second one here was 217. And it estimated uh, one. Uh, yeah, it estimated 175, I guess. Let's do a better job in the next video of actually trying to look at, you know, how accurate was this uh, and seeing, you know, uh, what can we improve? How can we do better? But this was a start uh, of building our DiGPT, quite, you know, basic, uh, sh relatively straightforward, and we're just using OpenAI uh, here, basically. All right, that's it for this video. Uh, if you want to support the channel, uh, join the Nanai Discord, start using the Nanai app, and uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel to follow for the next upcoming video in the series. See you next time.